Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you guys that are not familiar with us, we are right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two options that we carry. If you're looking for something used, we have everything from small little bumper poles to big LQs that we take in on trade or buy outright. So, I know that there's a lot of people running around out there with some nice big horses that maybe a slant load is not the best option for you. You've had some issues with your horse rubbing their tail or getting a little hard to load because they just feel a little cramped in there. This is my favorite style trailer right behind me. This was actually a demo. So it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star 2 plus 1. And since it was a demo, it means that it has been used to haul, tra to haul horses. However, it sells with full factory warranties and we can finance it like a new trailer. So this one right behind me is the example of how far these two plus ones have come. I think that we have made a lot of changes over the last four years. I've been here for about four years and they have, they have morphed into this beautiful example of a trailer behind me. Now there's a lot of things that Cimarron does I think better than everybody else on their trailers. The fit and finish on a Cimarron is second to none in my opinion, especially if you can have a really good pulling trailer behind you that you feel safe and confident loading your horses in. This is a really exa great example of that trailer. Let's go ahead and pull up the floor plan of that one and you guys can take a look and see what we've got laid out here. So big horses, think warm bloods, thoroughbreds, drafts. This is a trailer to haul them in. It's 710 tall, it's 24 and a half feet on the floor. You've got a five foot front tack, a nice big center box, and then you can haul two on the straight or you can have two box stalls. With only being 610 wide, it's gonna pull really nice behind you. Um, there's a lot of things that go into, into the good pulling abilities of this trailer and we're gonna walk through some of those options now. Starting up front here, you're gonna notice this is not a standard tapered nose that we have on this trailer. One of the things that we have been changing on a lot of our two plus ones, we still do a standard tapered nose like the ones that we've got right behind us, but having the V nose is gonna really increase your turn radius, it's gonna cut through the wind, which improves your, your fuel economy. And since we make these trailers extra tall to accommodate those extra tall horses, this V-nose is really gonna come in handy for that. It's gonna really make it an aerodynamic trailer that you can pull behind you. We've done some studies back to back and we found that some, some trucks and trailers that have this V-nose can pick up a, another three miles per gallon fuel economy over a standard tapered nose. So this V-nose is really a great option. Up front here, Cimarron does two set screws as well as a pin. So you've got a really safe hitch on this trailer. It's a B&W coupler. Cimarron actually partnered with B&W to create a really strong hitch for their trailers. What's really nice about, about this style is that you can adjust it. So even if you're hauling with an older style pickup that's maybe got a lower bed or a flat bed, you can get this trailer riding nice and level on your truck, which is gonna improve the pulling experience, but also the experience that your horses have in the actual trailer. We want these trailers to run nice and level, puts less strain on the axles, and it just, it just tows so much better. You've got your two safety chains here, as well as your breakaway. This breakaway battery um, has a nice coil here, and I really like this style, because instead of that, that long um, metal, metal rope that you get, this is nice and tight and it stays kind of out of the way. You don't have to worry about it getting hung up on anything. And as we go on underneath here, I'm going to see a couple other upgrades. First under here, we've got this electric over hydraulic jack. This is too nice of a trailer to have to worry about cranking up and down. However, a lot of people get concerned about what happens if my batteries run dead. Uh, you still have the ability to use a manual override on this particular trailer. So you can hand or you can hand crank it up and down 
in the event that you don't have any power for it, so you're not stranded. That's one of the reasons we like using these bigger equalizer jacks on these trailers. Right over here, you have your spare. Uh, it's a nitrogen filled, just like everything else on the ground. So especially on a cold morning like this, where it's gonna warm up, it's gonna get really hot today. The nitrogen is gonna maintain a much more stable PSI than regular air. And the benefits of that is that if you're running down the road in a cold morning and it warms up a lot, a lot of times regular air is gonna expand quite a bit. And that's what could lead to potential blowouts. You know, having a nice stable PSI is gonna be a lot better for your trailer. So having it nitrogen filled is something that comes standard on these trailers. If you do ever have to put regular air in them, it's not gonna harm anything. You're just not gonna get the benefits of that nitrogen anymore. So nice little feature there. These tires and wheels that come from Cimarron have their own warranty on them. So it's actually a lion's head warranty. And what that is, is one year, no, no excuses guarantee. So they will, they will repair or replace your wheels and tires for the first year, even if it's your, your fault, no excuses. And then they've got two years of complimentary roadside assistance and five year against any manufacturer defects. So really great warranties on the, on the tires and wheels. The tr Cimarron trailer itself has really great wa warranties. Cimarron really stands behind their product and that's why they're proud to offer an eight year structural and a three year hitch to bumper warranty on their trailers. So they really believe in the product they put out on the market and that is one of the reasons that we carry these trailers. And then last but not least, especially not least, this is one of my favorite features on this trailer. These two plus ones, it is almost impossible these days for us to sell them without this air ride suspension. So this trailer has Dexter Airflex suspension on it. So what that means is it's got a rubber torsion suspension. There's seven K's underneath it. But then sitting on top of that are airbags. So if you think about your trailer traveling down the road, rubber torsion, it absorbs a good amount, but they really do best when they're fully loaded. So they need, they need all that weight to make them ride nice and smooth down the road. When you put airbags on top of that, it's gonna absorb a lot of that movement that those axles feel. So you're gonna have a nice smooth ride for those horses. They're gonna really appreciate it when you get to a show, you've been traveling for a day or so, and they step off the trailer feeling nice and fresh. Uh, I love pulling an air ride Vino's. I think it is one of the best trailers to pull out there. If you have the ability to hook onto one and feel the difference, I don't think you would ever go back to just a regular regular suspension. The benefits of air ride, that's a little bit more expensive, but your resale value is a lot higher on your air ride trailers. Your horses, think about them, they're having to ride in a trailer that experiences earthquake-like conditions in a normal day and this is going to make it so that they're nice and relaxed and calm we've done a lot of studies with air ride and we can point you in the direction of some of those videos and, and demonstrations that we've done and then it's actually also better for the truck and trailer if you can minimize the amount of wear and tear that you get on the trailer um, the amount of vibration it's going to help maintain your products for a lot longer so really really great option on this air ride suspension like i said it is really hard for us to sell a two plus one without it these days it's got its own air compressor so you don't have to worry about tying something off your truck and it's got its own leveling valve so it knows when it wants to add more air you know a lot of people here at kick on when you come to a stop or if you're going uphill anytime you load a horse or unload a horse it's going to get that that pressure exactly where it wants it so really easy sim simple system to maintain and right over here that air ride system runs through the battery so your 12 volt supply from your truck as long as it's working is going to charge up that battery and that air ride system is going to pull from there we do have a little battery disconnect here so that if you're not using your trailer but you maybe forget to turn a light off you just hit this off and it's going to cut power to that trailer so that you don't have to worry about a dead battery when you go to hook up so let's go over here to the front tack room. Got a window on the front tack door here. That's a really nice option just to get those saddle pads dried out on your way home if you need to, or just let some cross breeze through here. We opted for a little brush box here on the door. You can also do a tack door organizer. 
And then we've got a nice fold up step. This is something that we do standard on all of our Cimarron trailers here. Uh, we don't like having to jump all the way up into the trailers. Even though this one's 610 wide, we could have running board, but then you're stepping almost all the way up here, which is a lot harder than just walking right in. So when I was pregnant last year, I really appreciated these fold down steps that we have. So in this actual tack room here, you've got a one foot boot box that runs along the full length here. These boot boxes are awesome. Uh, people really love to be able to have little storage places for all their, all their stuff. That way, even if you don't really need it, it's got a nice place tucked away because you never know, you go somewhere and then you always need it if you, if you, if you forget it. Got that light, nice OptiBright lights in here. We opted for two in this particular trailer. It just helps light up this area so well. We have a lot of carpet in here that kind of um, draws down some of that light there. So having these two big OptiBrights give you plenty of light in here. Two windows up in the nose. You can open those up, get some nice ventilation going through here. And you've got a big clothes rod that goes kind of the length of that nose there. To work our way around here, you've got a three-tier blanket bar with three-tier saddle racks. And these are adjustable, so if you wanted to take these completely out and just use these show boxes, uh, you can do that. Or if you want to switch them up and do saddle tier blanket bar, just need a little wrench here and you can loosen the tops and bottoms and you can slide them up and down, off, around, really easy to maintain. And then on this wall here, so we've got our bridle hooks split up on either side of this door. It's all carpeted, and that's something we also like doing at TransWest is carpeting these partition walls. If you shove a bunch of stuff up against this wall, anything that, that bumps against it, it's gonna create a lot of noise on the other side for your horses. So if we can deaden some of that sound and make our horses ride just a little more comfortable, why wouldn't we? We love doing that. We've got some nice big feed bags here. These will hang in your two forward facing stalls there in the back. So if you don't want to hang hay nets, you've got them, they're ready to use. Nice little pass through door here. A lot of people use these two plus ones. They'll haul one or two horses in the back. This front area will get full filled to the brim with things that they need for storage. A lot of people ask me, well, why would they hinge this door this way? So something that Cimarron always does is if horses have access to something, they wanna make sure that the framing favors them not being able to push through. So if you did have a horse leaning against this one right here, there, if you're not properly, properly latched, we don't wanna find them in our tack rooms when we get somewhere. So you're always gonna have the framing uh, favoring the horse not getting out. In this first stop box stall here, your 610 wide, eight foot eight box, this is a good size box if you want to haul a horse loose. Otherwise, like I said, I have seen these two plus ones and a lot of people will just stuff these full with hay, buckets, trunks, everything goes in here. And it's a really nice option to be able to come through this escape door as you're traveling down the road. You can pop these stud gates open. If you've got hay right here, you can just fill those hay bags. It makes it really easy. You don't have to walk all the way around and go throw hay through the drop down windows. Now, if you do have a horse on this stall, instead of if you don't wanna come all the way in here, you do have those drop down windows with jail bars at the heads. So you can throw hay right from the outside there. But if you're just hauling two, it just makes it really, really simple. This 710 height, like I said, you can haul some really big horses in here. Uh, the person that was using this as a demo, our manager, he's got some monsters that he hauls in these trailers and he finds that the 710 height is really beneficial to those tri to those horses. You can haul some big ones. You've got an escape door over here with a drop down window. So if you do have a horse in this first one, those jail bars, you can get some nice airflow moving through on this first stall. Got big roof fence over each, two over on the, on the box stall and then one over each stall on the forward facing horses. And then we did opt for a fold up step on that escape door just makes it so much easier. Like I said, a lot of people are using this as kind of a pass-through area. So it just makes it so easy to jump up on the step and hop your way in as opposed to having to go all the way around or step on that running board. 
as we look at these uh, stalls right here, one of the reasons that so many people love these two plus ones is that we actually do a traveling divider on these. And I'm gonna demonstrate that when we come back around here. But I just wanted to kind of point out that the benefit of having these two plus ones is that you can walk a horse on this trailer. And then if you've got a horse that, number one, you don't wanna back off a ramp, or number two, they won't. <laughs> you can actually walk them right off this side ramp that we've got right here. So this side ramp has a nice rubberized texture to it. Um, it's gonna be really non-slip for those horses if you're loading them on and off on a rainy day or on a day where maybe they've got some ice in their hooves. So it's gonna be a lot more textured than a slick, slick rubber mat, um, which is gonna be really beneficial for getting those horses on and off. We work our way around here. When the side ramps up, you've got this nice big wraparound Dutch door. And we do a 16 inch awning light right above that side ramp. Just makes it so that if you're loading horses on and off this ramp, you've got lots of light. So if at night your horses can really see where they're putting their feet, just makes it really, really simple to load. Right over here, when you have the Dutch door swung over, you do have the option for a big drop down window with jail bar. If you don't want to run with the drop downs down, You've got windows on the drop downs as well that you can just slide right over. And then we see those same wheels and tires that we did up front. They're standard aluminum wheels. We can do silver or black spoke. And these particular ones are Goodyear uh, Load Range E wheels and tires, 16 inch. You can see how much higher the clearance is here. We've got the air ride up right now. So that means those bags are inflated to their proper PSI. I'm just going to lift the box of that trailer up a little bit. The best thing to do if you're loading your horses in and out is to dump the air so those bags are down. That's going to make your ramps a lot less steep to get those horses in and out. Over the hips here on the horses, we've got these big bus windows. And then as we work our way around here, we've got that rear ramp with wraparound Dutch doors. These wraparound Dutch doors are really nice options. Now, I wouldn't run them like this if I've got a horse loose in the center box or in this last box here. But if you've got two forward facing horses, you can get a, an incredible amount of air moving through here. I think that between the insulated fiber tech roof that Cimarron has, all those drop down windows, those bus windows, those roof vents, you can get a lot of air moving through here that you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, getting those horses off hot. So really great option there. This rear ramp here is also nice and textured. So if you do have to back a horse off or bring one up, they've got a nice grippy surface to use. These butt bars are padded, but they're easy to take on and off. And then on the front, on these chest bars here, we've got little child safety locks on them. I call them child safety locks, but what that means is if you've got a horse that likes to mess around with, with, their, uh, with their chest bars as you're driving down the road, they're not just going to be able to pop these out and squish themselves up against that stud gate or wander forward if, they're, if those are open. So really simple for humans with, with hands to use, but you just flip this right up here up and then you can just pop these out and then walk those horses forward. One of the things you'll see on our two plus ones is Instead of having a break overhead divider here, we've gone to completely solid. It's a nice big rectangle divider here. We can do bar type here or solid. We find that sometimes if you've got horses that, that maybe like to make some mean faces at each other, this solid option is better. But if you've got horses that are real good buddies and you want bar type to run all the way across, we can always build them like that. We went ahead and padded these, these dividers here. Um, and then you've got kick mats running up all the way on the sides. Really comfortable, good sized stalls on this one. But one of the things that people love most about this divider is you can actually disengage these AR latches here. And I'll show you kind of what those look like here. So, got four points of connection. If you had a head divider, um, those other ones are going to go as well. I need to do the 
chest bar here. It helps if you do the chest bar first. <laughs> Re-engage these here. Go around this way. Here. You can see how easy it is to make a box stall when you remember to do all the chest bars first. So this just slides right over to the side. On these ones, you want to take off your, your chest and butt bar on this side just so you can get it nice and flush against the side. But you've got these AR latches which go to the ceiling and floor for storage locations over here. And then you've got this nice big box stall. If you want to take off, if you've got horses that are a little mouthy and you want to take off your butt and chest bars over here too, these, you just pull up on these strings here and then these pop right off. One of the things I want to point out on these Cimarron trailers is that anytime where they have a possibility of metal to metal, you're going to see these nice little plastic buffers and one of the things we've discovered is that metal on metal actually wears a lot faster. So if we can have some sort of plastic buffer, it's going to really help increase the longevity of those parts. But also, anytime you hear metal on metal, it's going to create a lot more noise. So anytime we can have a plastic buffer, that is going to help decrease the noise. I know some brands will really drill into your head that they have a quiet ride, which is going to make it nice and comfortable and quiet for those horses. Cimarron's been doing the same thing for a very long time. Um, they make sure that these, these trailers have minimized rattle for, for these horses rolling down the road. And that is one of the reasons that at TransWest we've eliminated the head divider, the breakover head divider on these. We found that we have enough room with this big box stall that you don't need that head divider to break over to walk those horses off the side ramp. So, we can eliminate a moving part. Number one, we're eliminating another piece that could malfunction, but also making the divider stronger and we're making it quieter for those horses. So just really gives you some, some great examples of how Cimarron really innovates to make their trailers the best trailers out there. These Cimarron 2 plus ones have changed a lot since I've been here. You know, when I first started, we were still doing just partial dividers here. You'd have to take that whole divider out and find a storage location if you wanted this to be a box stall. Um, and having these traveling dividers, they were actually uh, created off of our, our traveling center gates that we have on our stock trailers, have really innovated these two plus ones to make it to where they're super convenient to make a box stall. One person can do it quite easily and it gives you so much flexibility in how you can use your trailer. If you've ever got to haul some equipment or maybe you have a golf cart that you want to haul up front, this center post right here also breaks free. It's on an AR latch. It's got a foot in the floor. You can completely take that out, run a piece of equipment up front, put it back in and haul your horses behind. So it just gives you a lot of flexibility in how you set up these trailers. So we're going to go down the ramp here, around to the other side. As we're working our way around here, you're going to notice that funky little piece up top there that is a rear spoiler so that's something that we started with on our freedom trailers so those are our toy haulers and one of the big things that you see on trailers especially ones that travel down a lot of dirt roads is that you get a lot of dust that swirls behind the rear of this trailer here and that spoiler helps get that wind out and behind the trailer so that it doesn't just swirl and go back into your horse trailer here. So we started doing that on a lot of our, our stock trailers. We'll do it on some of our two plus ones and a lot of our customer trailers actually request them as well. So we work our way around here. Just a reminder, we're running on 7K rubber or Dexter Airflex axles. So that's rubber torsion and airbags. Big old drop down window on this side as well. You've got tie rings on each side of the trailer, so if you need to tie those horses, 
um, get them tacked up or fed or watered, you have that ability, but we've got these big 16 inch awning lights that are gonna light up this area, make it really easy to see where you're going. It shines off a lot of light here over this step as well. You can really see uh, what you're doing if you're jumping in and out of this trailer here. And I just wanna remind you folks, this trailer is a demo, so it has hauled horses previously, but the benefits of a demo are that it has full warranties, it still finances like a new trailer, and you get it at a little bit of a discounted price. So it's really a great option to look at if you wanna save a little bit of money on one of these really nice two plus one trailers. This is a really great option to go with. Now, if you guys do have any questions, you can find this one on our website. Go to transwest.com. This stock number for this trailer is 5N220099. Uh, I'd love to answer any questions you guys have on this one. As I mentioned earlier, these Cimarron 2 Plus ones are my favorite type of trailer. Uh, we really love how they pull, how they haul, and how flexible they are on your uses. If you guys do have any questions, you can call me. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks, I hope everybody has a great day.